Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my university let's play here in The Sims 4. Oh my gosh, it has been a while since I was here, uh, since I was recording university. Oh, where are my office hours? Basically what I'm trying to do right now is go visit the office hours. Um, I don't know which one we're probably doing the worst in. I guess we haven't really done the presentation for this one yet or we haven't done the term paper. Oh my goodness. Sydney is behind on her studies. She needs to get a move on. So let's go to, well this is just our elective so I mean it's not as important as measurement for measurement so don't go wallow in your bed you need to get to your professor office hours so we all know from the last part she went through a really tough breakup with orange it didn't actually look that tough when it was going on but she's actually taken it really hard she has a broken heart the relationship may have ended but the memories will remain and we all know Sid's a little bit of a drama queen she has a raging ball of fire inside her whether that be passion towards her studies or passion to getting other people back she just has this uh this big you know ball of inspiration inside her that definitely needs directing and right now she's trying to direct it onto her grades joanne is actually killing it joanne has done both of her term papers we're gonna do the you bright greeting with darby the dragon we're also gonna try and take a selfie with darby Darby hasn't once let us take a selfie. Honestly, I don't know why you're a mascot. If you don't like the attention, I mean, I guess you do walk around with a big dragon head on your head so people can't actually tell that it's you. But Josie, I know that it's you because my game tells me, you know? I'm playing God right now. I know what all of your names are. I know exactly who you are. Ooh, you want to know how you're doing in measurement for measurement? I'm worried. You should have a better grasp of the material by now and your work has been lacking. If you want to pass this class, you need to set aside some time for studying these last few days of term. If you haven't already turned it in, you may be able to push your grade up a bit if you can get together a quality presentation and present it in time oh no sydney and then our dad calls us he's like hey baby girl i know that you are struggling right now do you want to go to the spa you know what i'm gonna say yes to omar i know our teacher was literally just like you need to put some effort into your work we have a few days i feel like i can do this i just need to take some time for myself so let's go with Omar to the spa. Here we go, my babies are at the spa. So we are actually going to, um, there's not a yoga class starting just yet. I think we're gonna go into the sauna together, but I don't know where the sauna is in this spa. Ah, there's two up here. Um, and they aren't gendered, nice, okay. Well, are we even with our dad in a group? We should be. Actions add to group and let's go relax in the sauna together a brain boosting yoga class is beginning oh screw it we're not going into the sauna we need to join this yoga class um where is the fine sir who runs this establishment um how are we gonna join the class Okay, well, he's disappeared, which is fun. So I guess instead we will go relax together. Don't go relax in the nude. Um, yeah, oh my God, I hate how they wear Vans on all of these outfits. She's gonna change into Vans as well. Don't ask me why, it's just this custom content classes itself as a towel. I have no idea why. Uh, it's been like that since I downloaded them and I don't really know how to change it. I'm sure you can, but I am a noob. And also I just really like those shoes. So I'm also not gonna take them out of my game. Also, really quickly, yes, I am sick right now. I have come down with a Christmas cold. So if you're wondering why I sound weird in this episode, 
that is why I actually left the house over Christmas time and like was around all my young nieces. My sister was full of a cold and she passed it off to me for Christmas. Thanks, big sis. Love you too. That was my Christmas present from her. Right, is there a shower in here? There is, okay, nice. Ooh, hello peeps. What are we all doing here then? Why are we all chilling? Let's go take a shower. We've had a little bit of relaxation. I don't wanna relax too hard, you know? I definitely wanna focus on our grades. We have four days until the uh, the term is over and we still need to submit a term paper and we also need to give a presentation. I know a few of you, I've seen some comments being like, these girls need to pie a bit more. Uh, there needs to be more drama in this let's play. I am definitely working on it, don't worry. I wanna know who her professor is. I, I wonder if he's actually, I don't think he's our professor. Cause if we go over to Joanne, you can see that it says relationships professor. So I don't know who her professor is, but I really want to get to know them. Um, it's really unfortunate that I can't see who her professor is. So I think what I'm gonna do, at least for this evening, is actually have Sydney work on her um, presentation a little bit. We're gonna ask Joanne for feedback. Joanne actually got an outstanding on both of her term papers. So I think she's absolutely gonna ace this semester. I honestly don't know how she does it because she has soccer on top of everything, but she just seems to be like a university killer. She just gets straight A's. She's incredible. Whereas Sydney's just like still struggling along. So I'm going to take this evening, Monday evening, to actually focus on her term paper a little bit. And then I want to try and find out who her professor is. Because as you guys know, in the last part, we did try and woo. Uh, what was his name? At least one of the professors. But he's not actually her professor, so I don't know what he could have done. But we tried to woo Thomas and... And it didn't really go down so well so I actually want to find her specific professor and see if we can try and talk them into giving us a better grade because we are struggling right now and I think if she just has like this little bit of oomph look she's so sad about it she's just like Joanne I'm failing what am I doing wrong like I thought I was gonna be so good in university and now all my hopes and dreams are like crumbling before my eyes and then Quincy's just calling Joanne like, hey, do you want to go out to the... Oh, Joanne's being such a supportive little sis. Okay, we're going to practice presenting, see if we can get this up a little bit more. Come on, sitters. I believe in you, dude. You know what? With her feeling a little bit sorry for herself and, you know, just a little under the weather and not really like having any confidence in her, we're actually gonna try to submit a plagiarized <laughs> piece, which kids is never a good option. Please, if you are in high school or you're in university, do not try and plagiarize because you will get caught Everyone I knew who tried to plagiarize in university, even if they did it like accidentally, if they just forgot a reference or they did the reference incorrectly, literally every single person who I have ever known to try and plagiarize something has been caught. It is never a good option because your professors are gonna know, your teachers are gonna find out, and then they're never gonna have any confidence in you again. Kind of how like Sydney is just feeling in general right now. That's why she's doing it. She's at like a very low point. And she also is feeling slightly confident. Of course, it's all so clear now. Sydney is freshly inspired to make the presentation the best it can be. Oh no, Sydney was caught plagiarizing. Her grade will suffer as a result and she is receiving an official warning. Any more attempts to cheat may result in academic probation or suspension from the university. Sydney, why are you like this? Um, oh, and now we can't even, oh no. Okay, we're gonna, I can't even remember. What did we just try and plagiarize? Ooh, spin, snag, swag, dance. Okay, uh, university, we're gonna email our professor of that course. 
Oh no, we're gonna do so badly. Oh, all of her hopes and dreams are just like smashing before her eyes. I feel so bad. I knew that was gonna be a bad idea. I've tried that twice now. Since Discover University came out, I have tried to plagiarize a piece twice and I've been caught every time. I'm worried, you should have better grasp of the material by now and your work has been lacking. You need to set aside some time for studying these last few days of term. Right, that's it. We're gonna study a little bit. Oh my god, where the hell is please? Okay, this is her course book. Okay, let's, why can't we even study for it? Oh my god, we're gonna fail so hard. Caught cheating. Sydney was caught cheating by the university and is now feeling the shame, don't you hate when these disappear when you're trying to read them, of having tried to pull one over on her professor only to be found out and embarrassed. Sydney, you are going down a slippery slope, my dude. Your professors are about to hate you. <gasps> oh girl, you are in for a ride, my friend. Why is it that the second like year of uni is just like breaking for everyone? I swear that's like the point where you just wanna give up on life. It happened to me throughout my second year of university. I was just like, I don't wanna be here right now. I just wanna go home. Okay, we need to do our homework for measurement for measurement. So let's get that done. But yeah, my second year of uni was absolutely dreadful. Like I was doubting everything I ever did. I just didn't want to be there. I wasn't having fun. It got to Christmas time and I was just like, do I drop out? Like, is this not the right path for me? But I managed to stick it through and actually managed to get my grades up to a 2-1. Still don't know how I did it to this day, but I'm proud of myself for pushing on through. It's bright and early and Sydney is awake because she really wants to make a head start. I still can't find out who her professor is. I've tried emailing them, we try to visit our office hours and they're just having none of it. They will not appear for some reason in her relationship bar. I honestly had Joanne go to like one office hours and she managed to find that Dana was her professor so I don't know what's going on with Sydney and why she can't find hers maybe her professor just like believes in her that little that they don't even want to know her they're like you know what you aren't even worth making note of oh her little lip is wobbling and everything <laughs> Sydney oh See, this is really tough because I've been there. I know the feels when you don't even believe in yourself anymore and you don't believe in like what you're learning. It is so freaking tough to like feel like you even wanna continue. Joanne's gonna get up. She's also gonna take a shower. Oh no, class for Joe starts in an hour. That's okay, she can just go to the loo and then she can uh, head out to class whilst she is just having a breakdown. Once again, we love an emotional meltdown. Melissa's trying to comfort her, but she's not having any of it. She's like, Melissa, don't talk to me. I don't wanna hear it right now. Oh my God, okay. So might be having an emotional meltdown, but still look cute as heck. What the hell, Sydney? How do you look so adorable? Oh my God, it's so cloudy. Honestly, this day just like matches her emotions to a T. <laughs> look at how sad university looks right now. The freaking, oh my God, wow. A machinima maker in the making. Um, the like little statue looks so sad. It's been TP'd. She looks so freaking sad. Oh, daddy. David Herrera is such a freaking daddy. I love him so much. Ah, who's this out on the quad? Lamont playing his guitar. And, oh, are we in the same building today? Cute, love that. We actually do need to present. She actually did manage to get excellent in her presentation. Obviously, 
We did unfortunately try to plagiarize our term paper and therefore we can't even go back and like resubmit, you know? What's done is done. We now have to live with the consequences, which is very unfortunate. She also has class in two hours as well. So I think we're gonna present after that, fingers crossed. And honestly, I don't even need to worry about Joanne at this point because she's just freaking smashing it. It's like actually kind of annoying how little I have to worry about Joanne because I was scared she was gonna like kind of take like a back seat in this let's play and I know a couple of you guys were worried about that as well because it always seemed like whilst they were growing up like Sydney was the favorite. I feel like Sydney just like knew more of who she was when she was a kid and therefore I like played with her a bit more. Um, so I didn't want to make Joanne like a back seat but I'm not, like I'm not trying to. And I feel like we have focused on Joe a lot in the last few parts. So it's kind of nice that Sydney is now getting the attention, but like Sydney is just craving attention. Whereas Joanne is just like getting on with it. Like she still isn't really connected with Brightchester. Like she likes playing soccer. But I don't really feel like she's like proud. I feel like with her dyeing her hair the school colors, like she's like trying to fit in still. Whereas Sydney wants to fit in. Like Joanne's kind of just going along with the flow. She's going with the motion of the ocean in university and like trying to show off. Whereas Sydney really wants to. Whereas Joanne's kind of like meh, you know, I'm passing my classes, but I don't really have any emotional connections in this university, which is something I do want to focus on. I feel like we haven't really made many friends and I feel like that's why we haven't been getting invited to like any parties. And I don't know, is anyone else getting invited to parties because I feel like that's definitely one thing Discover University is missing in The Sims 4 is like that nightlife like it feels like no one really invites you out and I, ha I say this all the time but I feel like that's a major problem that The Sims has in general especially The Sims 4 where you really have to play to make a storyline and you know people don't invite you out anywhere um, you always have to be the one to like set plans and then they'll travel with you and yeah it just doesn't seem to be getting any better that's definitely one downside I don't know have any of you guys had like invites to classes please do let me know because I am intrigued because I feel like unless I host them nothing really goes on around university I mean obviously you have a lot of like the outdoor success like obviously we have extracurricular activities such as soccer but you don't really have anything other than that okay you really need to you need to get to class why are you not going i'm gonna reset her i don't even know where her class is man it's spooky day tomorrow are you serious and we're in uni that means we can celebrate in our dorm a little bit. Okay, where is our next class, damn it. Okay, weirdly, Joanne just glitched out, but we are gonna give our final presentation. It is outstanding. It's excellent, actually, not outstanding, but I think they can only go up to excellent. I think it's the term papers that can get to outstanding, Whoa. but she is uh, hopefully gonna absolutely smash this. Fingers crossed, this will be a good presentation for her and can kind of fill her confidence a little bit. Let's all cross our fingers and hope. Oh, Josie is actually in university. Okay, nice. I didn't think she was. Oh, here's Bryce. He's actually still a teen. I should have aged him up into an adult. If you watched my heyday Let's Play, he was actually really good friends with our bigger brother. Um, why have I Lionel? <laughs> Angela Pleasant. I have barely seen the Pleasant twins since moving into university. So we are gonna go give a polite introduction to Angela Pleasant because I actually wanna become friends with them. Oh no, she's leaving. Oh, you serious? This is the first time I see you and I'm probably gonna miss you. Wait there, wait there. I wanna give you a polite introduction. <gasps> She's coming. Okay, we did our presentation. We got no feedback whatsoever, which is nice. Thank you for that. Ooh, she shows, shows signs of the inner. 
Oh, I thought that that... Oh my god, we're like best friends with her? What the heck? It's so easy to become friends with Sydney. This is great. We're gonna talk about open-mindedness. We're gonna discuss our interests. We're gonna talk about the cloudy weather and how that really has an effect on my mood, you know? Look at how sad everyone is. Is this just like, is it such a gloomy day because everyone is so sad? Like, what is going on here? All right, now that we did that presentation, let's go visit office hours for measurement for measurement. See if that changed our grade at all. Fingers crossed it did, because I put a lot of work and time into that, way more than I did to spin, snag, swag, and dance in my plagiarized essay. So I hope the teacher freaking appreciated it. And then maybe if I go onto the relationship panel, I can actually like, See if we get a good relationship with our tutor, fingers crossed. Hopefully, we will. Let's see. Okay, that definitely moved around. So I feel like our teacher is in here. Is it you? No. You want to know how you're doing in measurement for measurement? You put in a solid term and have earned a solid grade. Any additional academic work you've still got to do will help, but your grade is certainly satisfactory. Ooh, I don't like that word. <laughs> I don't like the word satisfactory. <gasps> Diane! Oh, I mean, Diane seems lovely, but I kind of, I mean... Let's invite her to hang out at the current lot. I wasn't gonna woo her, but you know what? We will. We will try and get on her good side. We might not woo her like romantically, but we'll try and become friendly with her and see if we can like convince her that way. Just because, I don't know. I feel like, uh, who knows? Maybe Sydney would go all the way. Who knows? Oh my God, she looks like a professor. Oh, she's so cute. We're gonna have a little bit of gossip. If there's one thing I learned throughout my secondary school and university, it's that teachers love to have a good gossip. Whilst I was in sixth form, so I was like 16 to 18, our classes were like so much smaller because everyone like chose different things that they wanted to do and we could only choose like three or four classes. So our classrooms were much smaller. There was like, I think in my biggest like A-level class, I think I had probably IT was my biggest one just because they only had like one class. But for English, there was like eight people in my class and the teacher just used to bitch about the younger students. Like teachers love a good gossip, especially with older students because you can kind of talk to them as if they were an adult, like the students, obviously. So we all just talked with our teachers like they were our adults. We're gonna try and calm her down. I swear we have like a personality trait that can actually help us. We can ask about grade. We're gonna discuss interests with her. We're also gonna give her a heartfelt compliment. Noelle Gilmore, of course, she's part of the family vlogs. Are you a fan? Do you want a selfie? Why are you getting in on this conversation? I'm just here talking about how teachers love to bitch about younger students and then this teenager comes over and starts pestering me. Can you not do that? Ooh, she has the artist personality type. Ooh, no attractiveness, didn't mean to click on that. Ask homework questions, ask about grade, ask for higher grade. Sydney's relationship with this professor isn't high enough. Well, now that I know that she's an artist, maybe I can, we're gonna express our happiness. Oh, we're actually feeling happy. Is this because we finally got to know her? Let's also ask her about her day. Sydney looks so stinking cute. I cannot believe this outfit. Like I am floored by how adorable I made her. Ew, our room is so gross. What's up, Sydney? One of my friends has heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Um, no thanks. I'm busy trying to talk to my teacher. <laughs> what else can we do? Ask if Diane had woohoo. Oh my goodness, no. We're not gonna ask about her income. Ask if Diane wants kids. Jeez Louise, these are all so, she seems like a cat lady. 
Let's infuse about cats. Oh my god, why is this so loud? Turn down. Jeez. We're gonna compliment her outfit. Joanne, no! Stop bugging me! Get out of here! She's not your freaking professor, okay? Oh, we're giving her all the compliments. She definitely looks like an artist. 110 percent let's flatter her and express our admiration we're just really we honestly i feel like we would lick the bottom of her shoe right now not in like a weird way okay you know not to fetish shame anybody but not in a weird way like that's how needy i feel we are stop trying to chat with joanne i don't want to chat with joanne i want to chat with our freaking professor please Oh, she's going on our computer. Girl, what are you doing? Compliment her outfit again. Oh my god, we can become best friends with her. What is this? Mention being too trusting? No chance. Should we try and do it? Ask for a higher grade in spin, snag, swag, dance. This is the one that we tried to plagiarize for. I don't feel like she is gonna be our friend at all. Should we ask about our grade? Oh, this is gonna have a negative effect because she's gonna be like, you're rubbish. I have no confidence in you. You try to plagiarize in my in my study. How very dare you? Oh, you wanna know how you're doing? There's not much of this course left and I think you have a very good chance of failing. I'm not sure what else to tell you at this point other than try to do more work earlier next time. Flatter her. No, I'm not taking this for an answer. No, Diane, don't do that to me, baby. Come on, ask for a higher grade. Come on, Diane. I believe in you. Pull through. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That went badly. A boring conversation. We flattered her too much. <laughs> there is such a thing as too much flattery. Oh, God. God, what if we fail? We might get put on like academic probation. I am clenching my arse cheeks right now. I can't believe you're asking me to cheat your grade. I'm appalled you'd even try something like this. The answer is no. Well, Sydney. <laughs> Girl, that's exactly how I feel with you right now. So don't be giving me that attitude. Like, seriously, you were the one. Well, I was the one who got you to plagiarize. But like, you were the one that went ahead with it. So that's on you. You didn't tell me to stop. You didn't try and cancel out of that interaction. So don't be, don't be rolling those eyes at me, my friend, I guess. We will see how this term ends in the next part. <laughs> Jeez Louise, this is gonna be so bad. I already know. But thank you guys so much for watching this part of my Discover University Let's Play. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't worry, I am uh, definitely... I have some things up my sleeves. I ha definitely have a, a romance on the cards that is brewing. It's currently a little seed in my head, but this part has only, you know, made the roots stick more firmly in my mind. So I'm excited for that. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning into this part. I promise you the next one is going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you all tune in for it and I will speak to you all in the next episode of my Discover University Let's Play. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.